What if you could look at an object and tell exactly what atoms it's made of? Sounds impossible? Astrophysicists do this all the time. But light isn't an open book. In order to read it, we must first open it. And that's exactly what spectroscopy is. When light passes through a thin gas like hydrogen, some specific colors are absorbed and we see a rainbow with missing colors called an absorption spectrum. The colors that had been absorbed are then re-emitted in random directions. So when we look from the side, we see bright lines called an emission spectrum. The colors absorbed and re-emitted are a fingerprint of the gas. Every atom has a characteristic pattern of lines. To understand why, let's see what's happening in the hydrogen gas at an atomic level. Imagine the atom as a staircase with the stairs representing orbits. The electron needs some energy to go up the staircase, and that energy can be in the form of light. When the right photon strikes the electron, whee, the electron jumps to the next level. But that photon must be of the exact energy difference between the two levels, the exact color, otherwise it will pass right through. This is how we get hydrogen's absorption spectrum. Specific colors are absorbed by the electron to jump to different steps. When the electron comes back down, it emits the same energy, a same color photon. This is how we get an emission spectrum. Atoms of different elements have different heights between the steps. So a hydrogen atom absorbs and emits a different energy or different color of photon than say a helium or lithium atom. Our sun's atmosphere produces an absorption spectrum and we can read it like a barcode to know exactly what atoms it's made of. We can do this for any star and voila, we know what stars are made of. Spectroscopy can also tell us about the temperature of a gas. Particles of hot gases bump into each other much more than in colder gases, so the electrons have been knocked into higher orbits. Kind of like how you're much more likely to be disheveled in a mosh pit than when you're walking in a line with social distancing. By knowing which orbit or level the electron was originally in, we can find the temperature of the gas. Lastly, spectroscopy can tell us about the motion of a body. If an object is moving towards us, its wavelength decreases, so its light gets blue shifted. And if an object is moving away from us, its wavelength increases, so its light gets red shifted. When an object is rotating, light from the side that's moving away from us gets red shifted and light from the side that's moving towards us gets blue shifted. The spectral lines shift towards both the blue and red end of the spectrum. They widen. Similarly, we can know if an object is revolving around another object. We can actually see the spectral lines moving back and forth. To conclude, we can find all this just by looking at starry light. The universe gives us messages in the form of light and through spectroscopy, we can read them.